What you guys going to have a quick video here for you on how to create your own Windows 10 installation media. Now we're going to be using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool to create our USB flash drive, but you can do a DVD if you wish. Now the first thing you're going to need is a 4 gigabyte uh, minimum 4 gigabyte USB 2 flash drive. So let's jump over to Google here and do a search for the media creation tool. Now this has been specially created by Microsoft to help you create your own bootable media, whether it be DVD or USB flash drive. Once you do a search for this, you'll see Windows 10 ISO Microsoft. Click on that link there. This will take you to their page and then you can pull down the bar on the right hand side until you come down to where it says download tool now. You can see need to create USB DVD or ISO. You can get all those from this tool. Once you've got that tool on your desktop, you can then double click on this and this will open up a little box to start creating your USB media. Just accept uh, the license terms here. Just pull the little bar down and click on accept. This will start to get things ready. Make sure you've got your USB flash drive plugged in at this stage. Now we don't want to upgrade this PC now. We want to go to create installation media for another PC. Click next. Now choose your language and choose what version of uh, Windows you want to create. Mine's uh, Windows Pro. And then we're going to click 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. Now you can see where you can uh, download an ISO or create a USB flash drive. In this case, we're going to create a USB flash drive. It's selected my flash drive. Now click on Next. I'll speed this process up, but it's going to now download the Windows 10 ISO. And it's going to verify that download to make sure everything is OK with that ISO. And now it's going to start to create your Windows 10 media. Now this process does take a fair bit of time, so be patient. Now once this has all been created, we will need to change the boot order. Now you can either change the boot order in the BIOS, or you can change the boot order by using your F12 key, and it will let you change the boot up uh, sequence there temporarily. I'll show you how to change it in the BIOS. Now your BIOS may be slightly different. So once the uh, media is cre created, you'll see here 99% ready. Now the uh, USB flash drive is ready to use. So we can click finish here and now we can boot to our BIOS. Now your BIOS will be these keys here, F1, F2, escape, delete or F12. Now this is a different type of BIOS, this is an MSI UEFI BIOS. And I'll just quickly show you how to set this up. We're going to hit settings and boot. And you can see there's a long list of uh, selections here. We can see boot mode selected, legacy and UEFI. I'm just going to select legacy UEFI. Now you can see the option one here. We need to make sure that is selected for our USB flash drive. You can see this is my flash drive. I'm selecting that so it boots to that device. Now I'm just going to click on advanced. A couple of extra options here that you can check. Make sure you've got your USB configuration selected here. And you can see legacy USB support is enabled on this board. This makes it easier to boot to. I'm going to save these settings. Now we can save and exit. And now you're ready to boot up to that USB flash drive. So I hope this helps you out guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos then hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with computers or any questions or anything like that then go to my forums. The information's up on the screen right now. And also if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then head over there and give us a little like up over there. So thanks again for watching. Bye.